Hello again, YouTube. I am back again today. I wanted to talk about MAME, specifically Groovy MAME. Uh, for those of you that do not know, uh, Groovy MAME is a specific build of MAME designed to work on CRTs. And what it does is it scans all of the MAME ROMs for their native resolution and refresh rate, and then it outputs that to your video card so that the video card is matching the authentic arcade uh, resolution and frame rate, which I thought was really cool. Uh, minimizes lag, even though there's still a little bit of lag. Um, but um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of show my setup. Um, I got my BVM uh, D24 as my monitor. Um, up top here, I have an extra an RX... I, uh, two, I'm sorry, RGB 203 RXI, I said it in reverse. Um, and the way that that is connected is through VGA. So that VGA right there uh, is in from the uh, computer and then it's outputting uh, RGB in sync, just via 5 BNC. And then that's going uh, down to my video card there. <clears throat> but, um, Anyway, here's my uh, computer. I just bought this HP um, off of Newegg. I spent 70 bucks on it. Um, it was a refurb. Um, yeah, it was has an i5, uh, four gigs of RAM, and like a something like a hundred or a 250 gig hard drive, something like that, uh, which is the the recommended spec according to Calamity. Um, you wanted an i5, so whatever. They're cheap. Uh, so I got that, <clears throat> and it's running Windows 7. Um, for the video card, I got, you have to get a, a an approved ATI or NVIDIA video card. So I went with, um, it's an ATI 5870, um, which ended up being like a full height um, card. Uh, at least the metal clip on it was full height. So I ended up having to bend it off. But um, anyway, I don't know if you can see it back there, but well, uh, it's VGA. It's just connected via VGA as outputting analog VGA um, again up to the Xtron. Uh, so uh, here I have just running Windows 7 uh, for the install. Basically, there's no there's no correct install um, tutorials online. They're all outdated. Uh, the current version of MAME is 2.0 or 0 0.200. I'm using 0.197, which is as of September 2018, is one, um, <clears throat> one uh, version removed. It's still one out of date. Um, but you have to go find all the ROM packs. It's like a 60 gig ROM pack. I went to like Wayback Time Machine. I think I searched that website and I was able to find a link to uh, the 60 gigs of files, um, then you download the current version of MAME, or I'm sorry, you download the version of MAME to match the ROM set. In this case, I had 0.197 ROM set, so I downloaded 0.197 MAME. Uh, first thing is just to get MAME up and running, um, and all you gotta do is just ex extract out those ROMs, drop them in the ROM folder, and then that's it. MAME should work. Um, but then to get Groovy MAME working is a whole other uh, thing you gotta uh, then you gotta install Groovy Mame, delete the old Mame. You gotta create a new config file. Uh, then you have to install the um, the EMU EMU drivers, the CRT EMU driver, which basically overwrites the driver that's in your in your computer. That's why you need a, a approved card. Um, but then uh, then you have to have the software scan all your 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 uh, files to get the approved refresh rate and resolutions and then once all that's done um, you're ready to go so anyway that's where I'm at now uh, for a controller um, I got a few controllers but I'm just using right now at least this uh, Shika Sozu S1 um, I got some other uh, controllers I was using earlier um, you can, these these other ones are uh, Microsoft certified this Shika here is using a USB to SNES adapter. I mean, you can any any sort of USB 
um, controller works fine. Um, I do have my keyboard hooked up uh, for now at least. Um, I don't have a front end loaded yet. Uh, I'm not really worried about that at the moment. It's easy enough to do, but um, but I do have since I've been searching and, and trying lots of different um, uh, different games. It's kind of hard to do that with a front loader. Yep, you have to have your front loader already loaded up with your favorite games. So I just have uh, my keyboard up for now. Uh, but anyway, uh, so without further ado, here is Groovy Mave in action. I just put a little uh, link on my desktop. Just open Groovy Mave. And my home screen here is in um, 240p, so it's a little jittery, but um, I'm just going to go over to favorites. So here are, I don't know, some of the favorite games I've been playing. Um, I think I'm going to do X-Men vs. Street Fighter at the bottom. Let me click on that. And when you click on it, it'll switch resolutions over... Um, to the correct resolution. So on the old meme, it would show you the video, which is what the uh, the ROM file is native resolution is. So in this case, 304 by 224 at 59.6 hertz. Um, and what my switch res is doing is it's changing it to 304 by 240, slightly different, but the same exact uh, refresh rate, which also will display up on my uh, RGB 203 RXI. But anyway, uh, once that's you're ready to go, just click the space bar and it loads up. Um, as you can see, there are uh, beautiful crisp scan lines. But I'll let that roll. But um, anyway, that's, um, that's Groovy Main basically. It works excellent highly recommended for uh, anyone with a CRT it is a little bit of a pain to set up um, I initially thought I could go through the SCART cable um, I was going to go from my computer out via SCART to my SCART switch uh, but what I discovered was since my BBM does 720p the SCART cable is either the SCART cable or the SCART switch I'm not sure one or the other didn't have the bandwidth to transmit that signal, so I was getting no signal. Um, but when I went direct from my computer to the Extron, uh, to, the com to the TV, it worked fine, or to the monitor, it worked just fine. So uh, anyway, um, that is my uh, Groovy Mame setup. Um, it's great, it's like having an arcade right in your house. Uh, it, was a, it was a huge pain to set up, and. Uh, but once it's going, I mean, it, it works fine. I mean, you can see, you can see for yourself some of the uh, glory that is uh, going on here with all these scan lines. <clears throat> but um, anyway, hope that was interesting for you guys, and have a good one. And I'll just let this roll out. Peace.